What is going on, good people? This is my official preview and predictions for the return of TNA Wrestling, TNA Wrestling Hard to Kill, taking place January 13, 2024, at the Palms Casino Resort in Paradise, Nevada. And yes, TNA Wrestling is back for the first time in a long, long time TNA is back. It's good that they brought back the TNA name. You know, Impact Wrestling wasn't bad, but either way, it was just TNA. It was just better just to call it TNA. Really should never switch to Impact. You can make the argument, but nonetheless, TNA is back, and they are looking to go crazy for this pay-per-view hard to kill. Um, they said that a big name could be showing up at this show. They said World, you know, was going to collide at this show. Like, they, with the promotion and the attention that everyone's been talking about, like, they're really seemingly going hard for this show, and rightfully so, because, again, this is the first show under the TNA uh, name. So, uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to get straight into it. Um, you know, obviously, the show is taking place 48 hours um, from the, the recording of this video, so... Obviously, this card is finalized. I don't see any other matches getting added. So with that being said, let's get into it. First, we got here, we got PCO versus Dirty Dango. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, I'm gonna go with Dirty Dango on this one. Sorry, sorry, PCO. I think Dirty Dango might get the win here. Um, but this should be a solid match, honestly. I think this is going to be definitely one of the solid matches of the night. And, uh, you know, we all know how PCO can get. We all know what PCO was capable of. You know, Dirty Dango, may I say more. But, um, yeah, I think I think Dirty Dango is going to get the win there. So, there you have it. Okay, so the next match, we have the Ultimate X match for the women's, for the knockouts. Usually, we see it for the men. In this case, we're seeing it for the women. We got Tasha Steele, uh, Alicia Edwards. Jizzle Shaw, Judy Threat, uh, Xia Brookside, and Dana Luna. So these women are going to are going to compete to decide who will be the number one contender for the TNA Knockouts World Championship. And uh, honestly, I think I think they're going to give it to Jizzle Shaw. I feel like I, I don't know why. I just some way or another, I think uh, I think she's going to be the one to pull it out. If I had to pick a second person to win this match, I'd probably go with Tasha Steele. But um, I think Jizzle Shaw is going to pull this one out. I think she's going to be the one to get the W and become the official number one contender for the TNA Knockouts world title. But uh, with that being said, uh, I think the women are going to kill it here. So this should be a, a good match, a really good match for the women here. Ultimate X match. Okay, so next we have a tag team match play -off. Fatal Four Way, a four way dance for the TNA World Tag Team Titles. We have ABC, which is Chris Bay, and uh, Ace Austin, the Rascals, the Grizzle Young veter Veterans. Oh man, the Grizzle Young Veterans, man. They, uh, we all know their story, being in NXT. Um, obviously, the schism, only to go back to the Grizzle Young Veterans. Now they're no longer in the WWE. And of Mike Bailey and Trent Seven, this should be a really good match. I, I could definitely see this tag team match being all over the place. You know, this is definitely going to be the tag team match that gets Teddy Long up on his feet and clapping, standing ovation. But um, I feel like they might give this one to. I they could give it to the. I could say the Grizzly Young Veterans, but I don't. I don't know, and I may be wrong here. I don't know if they're signed officially signed to TNA. Or, you know, one-off appearance, I don't know. But um, I would, I'd probably give this to the Rascals at the end of the day when it's all said and done. The Rascals win in this match and become the new uh, TNA World Tag Team Champions. But, you know, honestly, you can make a case of regardless of who wins this match. Again, this is going to be a really, really good tag team match. You know, these tag teams are just going to go at it for the TNA World Tag Team title. So uh, that's about it. Okay, so next you have a three-way dance for the X Division Championship, the TNA X Division Championship. <laughs> Chris Sabin, Kushida, and Vakino. Oh man, and just just saying those three names alone, 
this is I, I think this is definitely going to be probably one of the best matches on the show. Um, y'all know I say this in almost all the videos how the X division just never fails to disappoint, and I feel like if there's one match that can definitely open up the show, this can definitely be it. You know, you get the crowd hot, popping, running. It's definitely going to be one of those matches. I think you could definitely open up the show with. So I got uh, I do got Chris Saban winning this one. You know, I, um, I, again, I don't know this. I think Bakino's really just more of a one-off appearance, and uh, you know, I, I just don't really see Kushida winning this one. I think Chris Saban is going to win this one and uh, retain his uh, X Division title. But again, should be a really good match, and uh, in my opinion, probably one of the best matches of the night if if it goes to that limit. So Josh Alexander versus Alex Hammerstone. I don't really know too much about Alex Hammerstone, so this is really my first time really seeing him that bad. Uh, for mostly, I know that he is from um, MLW, and um, he's actually a former MLW world champion. Um, so hopefully he does impress me uh, in this show, and he probably will. With the way things are looking like, he probably will. Um, and Josh Alexander, you know, we all know how good he is. Um, Josh Alexander, just an incredible performer. Definitely one of the best in in TNA uh, at this time, and uh, yeah, Hammerstone, you know he's he should show out here against Josh Alexander. So this should be a good match. Um, but like I said, this is my first time seeing Alex Hammerstone, so I'll get to see what he does. And um, yeah, you know, for for people who are probably hating on me, saying yo yo dude, like really you don't know who Alex Hammerstone is. Granted, I don't I only watch MLW. I actually I don't watch MLW at all. Like you know, I just heard they just signed Matt Riddle, and I know that one of the Bloodline Samoans and Jacob Fatu uh, is in MLW, and I believe MJF at one point was a part of MLW. But uh, yeah, um, we'll, we'll see how this match goes. It, it you know I do think Josh Alexander will get the win though. So uh, there you have it. There. Okay, so. Next match, Trinity versus Jordan Gracie for the TNA Knockouts World Championship. Very excited for this one. Two amazing women competitors going at it for the title. You know, I just, I heard the rumor or the report, I should say, that uh, Trinity, uh, as soon as her contract um, ends with TNA, that she will be heading back to WWE. Now, I don't know when that contract expires. I don't know if it expires like this month. So to say if it was to expire this month and she was to like to return in the Rumble, then she very well obviously is going to drop the title to Jordan Gracie. And, uh, you know, regardless of what happens, uh, man, I, I think uh, some way or another, I feel like Trinity might be the one. I think Trinity retains her championship here. Not saying if Jordan Gracie wasn't to win this match, I wouldn't be mad. Because again, these are these are two women that I don't I don't hate, I don't despise. So, um, but this should be a really good match. This is Gracie's call your shot. So, um, again, these two women are definitely going to go at it, and this should be a good one. But uh, I do think somewhere or another Trinity retains uh, the title here. So, we'll see what happens though. Okay, so the main events. Alex Shelley versus Moose for the TNA World Championship. This is Moose Feast of Fire uh, World Title Match. Uh, you know, you could very well make the argument that considering that this is the new, well, this, they're going back to TNA, Alex Shelley could definitely be the one winning it here at the first pay-per-view officially back under the TNA name. But I don't know, I just got this feeling that Moose might win might win the title and uh you know moose he he had a good reign last time he was champion so you know if he wins beats alex shelley which i, I do think he does win i feel like you definitely gotta you gotta end the pay-per-view off with with a shocker um and i feel like moose beating alex shelley would would be much of a shocker and alex shelley you know he, he's been champion since anniversary so you know i'm not saying like now is not the perfect time but and again, I think now could be the perfect time if you wanted to, if you really wanted to have him drop the title, you know. And yeah, I mean, you know, Moose again, credibility, you know, 
So there's really nothing more I can say about it. I mean, this should be a really good match, obviously a really good main event. But uh, yeah, I think we get a new world champion. You know, we we gotta we we, we gotta get a title change. I feel like a title change is definitely gonna have to happen on the show. It might happen on the show, and if it does, then this is one of them. Uh, but with that being said, that has been my official uh, TNA Wrestling Hard to Kill 2024 predictions. Uh, this should be a good show. They even have Top Dollar, who's going to be on this show. Uh, Top Dollar and this dude, DJ uh, Woo Kid, I, I have I don't really know that much about him. But uh, they're going to be performing a song at the show. So there you have it there. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my preview and predictions. Let me know in the comments. Who do you guys think are going to win this match? And uh, I'm out.